though we would never want you to believe it, the reason why Trump's life was saved, and potentially America's, can only be explained by saying, God was at work. JP from Awaken with JP came out with a humorous yet pretty enlightening video about the Trump assassination attempt. Check it out. Though we would never want you to believe it, the reason why Trump's life was saved, and potentially America's, can only be explained by saying, God was at work. Oh, that feels weird. It's like a burning sensation in my chest when I say that. And oddly enough, an American flag at the rally got tangled strongly resembling the image of an angel, which we can confidently tell you means absolutely nothing. And with an AR-15, the gunman opened fire at Trump at exactly 6.11 p.m. And I'm sure just coincidentally, in the Bible, Ephesians 6.11 says, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. One thing this whole experience has done for me is only prove the fact that God is in control. I mean, when this happened and I saw how close Donald Trump was about to die, when I saw the reality, I was like, whoa, like what would have happened in that instant if Donald Trump would have died? What would have taken place after that? Would Joe Biden become president again? Would somebody else rise up? Like, what would happen, literally, in the aftermath of that situation? And it really rocked me. But God really encouraged me through this whole thing of saying, I'm in control. Like, God is not surprised by an assassination attempt. He's not surprised by a shooter. He knows. And these different signs that JP pointed out, I mean... Think what you want to think about them. But the reality is God protected him. And not only him, but I believe God was protecting our very country and his church. Allow me to read Psalm 46, 1 to you. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And it's interesting too, a woman named Marjorie Taylor Greene, a prominent MAGA Republican, claimed to have witnessed an angelic appearance over Trump moments before the incident. Now, I don't know who that is. I don't know who Marjorie Taylor Greene is, but is it possible that God literally sent an angel? Is it possible? I mean, the whole world is wondering that. This dude, quarter of an inch. And the thing is this, it wasn't just his life that was at stake. Remember, right? Like what JP was saying in that satire, whatever. It wasn't just Donald Trump whose life was at stake. God knows the end from the beginning. God is in control of this nation and the occurrences that take place. And people may ask the question, say, well, okay, God saved Donald Trump's life, but what about the man behind him? What about all the other people that are dying right now all over the world? Why isn't God protecting them? And the answer to that question is simply put, God knows what is best. God knows how to deal with the situations that are happening. Because think of this, would that man, if it was his decision, think about this, that man that died behind Donald Trump that got shot, if it was his decision, do you think that man would have wanted Donald Trump to die or himself? I'm quite certain and quite convinced that man would have given his life for Donald Trump because it wasn't just about Donald Trump, but it's about the nation. It's about the world. And look, we could all be deceived. Donald Trump could be the Antichrist. He could be someone from hell. But honestly, based on what I've seen, the information that I've picked up, the things that I've witnessed and whatnot, in prayer, talking to people, listening to people, for me, it seems like the most righteous choice is Donald Trump, even with his failings and his weaknesses, because for some reason, his heart is more inclined to God, even in the midst of his sin, his heart is more open to Jesus Christ than Joe Biden and his people. And I'm not trying to be judgmental right now, but I'm trying to say this. There are people right now in this world today whose hearts are more open to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Their hearts are more open to God working through them. And even though Joe Biden says he's a Catholic, I honestly do not see his heart for God. 
He supports the death of babies. He supports all crazy types of marriages and all this other weird and wicked stuff. And yet he says he's a Catholic. Whereas Donald Trump, he wants to support the church. He wants to support Christians. And people may say, well, it's because he's trying to get their vote. Whatever the case may be, I have lived on this world over 30 years. I've seen different things take place. I'm trying to keep up with what's happening. And honestly, for me, it seems like Donald Trump wants to support the initiatives of God more than Joe Biden. But I'm gonna tell you this, regardless of what happens, even if Donald Trump died just a few days ago, God would still be in control and God's purposes would still be completed. May the Lord bless you.